And here in Manhattan, we have a new player on the real estate scene. It's China's Sovereign Wealth Fund, and it has bought an equity stake in a Madison Avenue skyscraper co-owned by the Carlisle Group. For the details, I want to bring in our Bloomberg reporter, Miles Weiss, who joins us from our Washington bureau. And Miles, tell us, how much, how much has this fund invested so far? Well, hi, Betty. It's, uh, it's tough to tell because a lot of the investments are made through uh, funds um, or uh, just simply don't show up. But uh, at least in one instance, the fund is holding a, uh, a stake worth almost $900 million in general growth properties, the mall operator. So that gives some sense for, for the size of their investments. Hmm. This, is, this is a much smaller investment, of course. Uh, how much smaller? Do we know? Well, we don't. Uh, the size of the investment wasn't, um, wasn't disclosed, uh, but it was used to help repay about $250 million in, um, in loans and mezzanine debt uh, with, the, with the rest of the money coming from the owners of the building, uh, Carlisle and Ashkenazi acquisition. Hmm. Okay, it's interesting nonetheless, though, even if we don't know the details of all the numbers, Miles, because does it signal that we may see more purchases like this going forward? Uh, I, I think it does. Uh, the the uh, U.S. Uh, commercial real estate industry is, is going to need to raise almost a trillion dollars, according to uh, Keith Bryant and Woods, to, um, to pay down debt on the existing properties. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a funding gap there that needs to be filled. Right, that needs to be filled, and they have the cash, and they may be able to fill that then. Um, what do we know about this particular building, though, this Madison Avenue skyscraper that they've invested in? Well, it just it just kind of shows that the uh, type of building that the Chinese investors are interested in. It's a prime A uh, office building in Manhattan's uh, uh, most expensive uh, uh, leasing district. Okay. All right. Well, 650 Madison Avenue. Um, and uh, Miles, just quickly, I mean, does this signal that other foreign investors might come into the Manhattan real estate market? They, the foreign investors seem to be coming slowly back into the U.S. Uh, commercial real estate market, including Manhattan. Uh, the amount of foreign investment um, is about $6.7 in the U.S. this year, and that's up from about $3.5 billion last year. But it's got a ways to go to get up to the 2007 level, which was about, uh, about $23 billion. All right. Miles, thank you for joining us and telling us a bit more about this interesting investment. Miles Weiss uh, joining us from our Washington Bureau.